My name is Josh, and today, I'm using my metal detector to search this town for lost and forgotten artifacts such as coins and relics. I'm sure some of you are already curious about how I got into this, and that's simple. Ever since I was a child, I was fascinated with the idea of finding lost treasures, but never thought I'd find any. Then one day, the metal detecting god heard my prayers and gave me a taste. Behind the old local hall, hidden at the back of an outhouse, lay three coins dated back to the late 1800s. My mind was blown, and I thought I was an instant millionaire. Pumped and determined to find ways to locate more riches, my research led me to metal detecting and here I am. Hey, are you an oldie? Looks like 1942 Rupenny. I'll take it. The Rupenny design first came into circulation in 1938, and over 12 million of these babies were minted. With it being pretty common and virtually worthless in this condition, I'd better keep searching for something more valuable. Every target tells you a story, and these next few discoveries tell me that hard work was being done in this area on a consistent basis. So let's keep digging. What have we got here? Oh, an old army button. Check it out. Right into the relics. Doesn't have the loot. She's gone. Still, not bad. I've only been here a minute. Another button. Probably about my fifth or sixth now. Don't know what they were doing here to lose all their buttons. Oh, another button. Where's your coins at, guys? Oh, who would have guessed it? Another button. Jesus, I'm going to have a button collection after this. I kind of want a pre-decimal collection. Sometimes, it's just better to focus on what the target's telling you more than what the target actually is. Buttons equal pants, pants equal pockets, and we all know what pockets used to hold. Coins and valuables. So let's get digging. Heading back to the car. Thought it was gonna be another piece of trash. But boom, I think we got a bit of silver and an ant's nest. Can you see that? Yes. Oh, the number's worn off. It's like 19, 20 something. Well, that number's gone. Maybe I'll get it in the right light. No amount of light was going to tell me this little guy's exact date. Minted sometime in the 1920s, this coin boasts a purity of 92.5%. Let's hope it wasn't the rare 1922-1921 overdate era, because that little coin could fetch me upwards of $5,000 in rough condition, as they believe only 900 were ever minted. I guess we'll never know. The metal detecting gods must have been feeling extra generous today, because after that silver I quickly found myself on a patch of coins. Hey, there you are. Oi. Oh, it's an old Britannia. Got an old 1884 Britannia. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. oh, and it's a Commonwealth. We just got ourselves a commonwealth. What have we got here? 1916. Ew! And even better, it was only about an inch deep. Check that out. Not even deep. 
I was almost gonna leave it because I was pretty sure it was gonna be garbage. Yes! Hehehe, <laughs> another! Ow! Oh, another con! Oh, when it rains, it pours. 1927 Commonwealth Penny. We're in a good spot. So far, I've only managed to detect about 25% of this field, and I want to check out an area that's been catching my eye this whole time. So let's cross our fingers and put our coil to the soil. And don't forget, no gold in the pouch if you sit on the couch. Apart from this old railway spike, it doesn't look like there was much here either. Gonna have to go to plan B. After giving it some thought, I made the executive decision to downsize my coil to the standard 11 inch in hopes of getting better target separation. This should allow me to hear the silver coins amongst the heavy iron signals. just filled in the hole and went back over it with the coil and there's something else in it. That's a coin spill! <laughs> Check out what else was in that hole, 1919. Yes! The 1918 and the 1919 three pence is considered slightly harder to find, especially in higher grades. In the coin world, they'd be graded as very good, but don't let that term fool you, because it actually means terrible condition. Go figure, into the folder they go. I'm surprised no 1800 silvers showed up today in this hunt, but I'm sure there's one out there somewhere. So let's head back to home base for now and check out our finds for the day. If you've liked what you've watched so far, don't forget to hit subscribe. God, it feels good to be out of those dirty clothes and if you're interested in any of the gear we're using today you can find links for it all in the descriptions below and if you want to help support our channel further you can grab one of our size does matter t-shirts from our merch store and without further ado let's check out today's targets mm -hmm. 